Devin Haney, a well-known figure in the boxing world, has been apprehended for allegedly manipulating pay-per-view figures, a severe transgression that has cast doubt on the integrity of his professional career. This revelation has severely shaken the credibility of the sport and has sparked concerns regarding the prevalence of dishonest practices within the industry. We ask the question. <laughs> it, 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 ain't, it ain't worth asking because it was a one-way deal. It only one man controlled it, and that was Devin Haney. Adding to this, there have been accusations implicating Haney in cheating during his fights, which further undermines the core values of fair competition that form the foundation of the sport. Consequently, the boxing organization has taken decisive steps by completely removing Haney from the sport following these serious allegations. In the aftermath of Haney's unexpected arrest and subsequent expulsion from boxing, persistent rumors have emerged, clouding his recent match against Vasyl Lomachenko. There are whispers circulating within the boxing community, hinting at ongoing controversies surrounding this particular bout. The investigation into allegations of tampering with judges and the referee in the specific match, the one between Haney and Lomachenko, which concluded with a controversial decision favoring Haney, has been deemed by some as a blatant case of injustice. Boxing icon Floyd Mayweather Jr. has shared his perspective on the issue. Mayweather, known for his outspokenness regarding the sport, didn't hold back when discussing Haney's recent fight against Lomachenko. In a strongly worded statement, Mayweather stated that what occurred in that bout was a clear act of injustice and a disgrace to boxing. He emphasized the importance of maintaining the integrity of the sport, expressing his concern over fighters manipulating the system and tarnishing the beloved game. The former world champion, recognized widely for his technical skills and strategic brilliance in the ring, conveyed his disappointment at the potential compromise of fair competition. Mayweather's remarks have added substantial weight to the growing dissatisfaction within the boxing community. Many are now demanding a comprehensive investigation into the accusations surrounding the judges and the referee involved in the Haney-Lomachenko match. The situation has escalated significantly, prompting a dire need to uncover the truth behind the unsettling events. Mayweather expressed profound disgust, emphasizing that as a champion, witnessing such misconduct is appalling. He stressed the potential detrimental impact this could have on Haney's career, stating that this conduct is unacceptable, irrespective of one's standing in the sport. Mayweather fiercely defended against the allegations, denouncing the behavior as deplorable and indefensible. He highlighted that regardless of one's allegiance or admiration for a boxer, such actions cannot be condoned. Devin Haney has vehemently maintained his innocence and has launched aggressive verbal assaults against Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather, accusing them of colluding to sabotage his career. Visibly enraged, Haney vehemently denounced the situation, stating, This is a direct assault on me, cooked up by those two clowns Davis and Mayweather. They're aiming to end my career, but I won't allow it. In a blistering tirade, Haney continued, I've put in immense effort to reach where I am, and now these two believe they can force me out. It's just jealousy, plain and simple. They can't bear to witness someone else shining in the spotlight. Haney's aggressive remarks have intensified the already heated controversy, transforming the narrative into a battleground of fierce allegations and denials. As the boxing community grapples with the aftermath, Haney's defiant stance raises concerns about underlying tensions within the sport and the potential for personal rivalries to overshadow the integrity of the game. The integrity of professional boxing is under scrutiny due to startling accusations. Haney's opponent has come forward, expressing suspicions and alleging Haney's involvement in what he considers unthinkable in the boxing world, drug cheating. He claims Haney is in denial about the knockout and asserts there's something suspicious about him and his team. The opponent raised concerns in a video, breaking down the incident and stating that he believes Haney and his team are hiding something. He highlighted the absence of any drug testing before or during the fight, despite Haney claiming to have enrolled in voluntary testing. This absence, according to the opponent, raises doubts and implies suspicions of potential performance-enhancing drug usage by Haney and his team. He's now using steroids and performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs, which is why I suffered a knockout. Devin Haney is heading towards a perilous situation due to his own statements. 
If Devin doesn't become more cautious in a matter of seconds, his only path to achieving the status he desires will become considerably riskier than the current course he's on. In simple terms, if this young man continues to take risks, he will face severe consequences. In a shocking turn of events in the Devin Haney saga, the Nevada laboratory responsible for analyzing the boxer's drug test results has reportedly found irregularities in his urine samples. Initial suspicions have been validated as the investigation progressed, uncovering the presence of banned performance-enhancing substances. The disclosure of Haney's alleged use of performance-enhancing drugs adds a fresh layer of controversy to the already chaotic situation encircling his manipulated pay-per-view figures, allegations of cheating, and conspiracy claims against him. The findings from the Nevada laboratory raise significant doubts about the integrity of Haney's accomplishments in the boxing ring, casting a shadow of suspicion over his entire career. The controversy surrounding Haney has taken a startling turn following revelations from the Nevada laboratory that triggered their concerns. According to reports, the laboratory was alarmed by Haney's sudden and substantial 25-pound weight gain seemingly overnight. Such an unprecedented and swift increase in weight sent shockwaves through the testing facility, prompting a heightened scrutiny of the boxer's drug test results. The sudden and significant spike in weight drew immediate attention as it aligns with patterns often linked to the use of PEDs. This unexpected turn prompted the laboratory to meticulously analyze Haney's urine samples, leading to the subsequent detection of abnormalities and the confirmation of PEDs in his system. The remarkable increase in weight acted as a catalyst for a more thorough investigation. Individuals expressing strong discontent towards Devin Haney are now claiming that his weight gain was unlawful in the state of California. Allegations state that Haney exceeded the permissible weight limit and rehydrated to 165 pounds, which violates California's regulations. Consequently, they argue that Haney should be disqualified and stripped of his championship. These arguments stem from the dissatisfaction harbored by certain individuals towards Haney. So now, Devin Haney faces disqualification due to his glove switch, and individuals like Gervonta Tank Davis, Haney's primary rival, are provoking the situation. Davis is insinuating that the snack program, which Haney is associated with, should be abolished due to suspicions of Haney's potential use of prohibited substances. This further amplifies the suspicion surrounding Haney's career contributing to the broader narrative of dishonesty and wrongdoing. The controversy surrounding Devin Haney takes a more personal turn as Gervonta Davis, a fellow boxer, steps into the fray with explosive allegations. Davis openly accuses Haney of involvement in cheating practices dating back to their amateur boxing days, shedding light on a long-standing issue that appears to have persisted throughout Haney's career. Davis's candid statement adds fuel to the ongoing controversy. Davis claimed, I've known Devin since our amateur days, and let me tell you, he's been cheating from the very beginning. This isn't a recent development. It's a consistent pattern with him. I've witnessed it, and now the entire world is starting to see it too. Following the shocking disclosure from the Nevada laboratory about the detection of PEDs in his system, Devin vehemently denied any wrongdoing. Haney's response to the news has been marked by defiance, adamantly stating that he has always been a natural athlete. He dismissed the findings as an orchestrated attempt to frame him. In a statement addressing the allegations, Haney declared, I've never sought any shortcuts or resorted to PEDs to excel in this sport. These accusations are merely an attempt to defame me because they can't handle my success. I've earned every achievement through hard work, and these claims are nothing but a desperate effort to tarnish my reputation. Haney's denial adds another intricate layer to the already convoluted narrative surrounding his career. As the controversy intensifies, the conflicting perspectives between the boxer and the laboratory leave the boxing community grappling with uncertainty regarding the truth. These allegations have the potential to significantly impact Haney's reputation and underscore the ongoing battle against doping in the sport. In an astonishing twist, Leonard Ellerby revealed that Haney only managed to achieve 50,000 pay-per-view buys. Ellerby purportedly utilized all his connections in the boxing world to generate such numbers. In response, Haney tweeted, discrediting Ellerby's claims about his pay-per-view sales. He dismissed Ellerby's credibility and hinted at the possibility of achieving feats that no other boxer would dare to attempt. Haney also mentioned Floyd Mayweather Jr. as the CEO of his promotional company, underscoring his involvement in the matter. Ellerby is speaking the absolute truth. 
The event sold out, drawing 16 to 17,000 fans to the arena and also achieved commendable pay-per-view numbers. It met the expectations and was a success. Devin Haney, a two-division champion, is being reacted to by Gervonta Tank Davis in response to everything surrounding Haney. Reports surfaced indicating that Devin Haney's pay-per-view buys were only 50,000, as disclosed by the same R.I. Glazer. Shockingly, it was reported by ESPN that Haney had been arrested for fabricating his pay-per-view numbers. ESPN revealed that Haney's promoters, Top Rank and ESPN, had been investigating these allegations for months and unearthed evidence suggesting Haney artificially inflated his pay-per-view numbers. The investigation found that Haney's team had been purchasing pay-per-view buys in bulk to artificially inflate the figures. As per reports, Haney supposedly bought a substantial number of tickets available for his championship match against PRS, later reselling them at inflated prices. This practice, identified as ticket scalping, is widely regarded as unethical and unlawful in numerous jurisdictions. The consequences of Haney's actions extend widely. By purchasing a large number of tickets, he essentially limited fan access to the event, potentially depriving numerous passionate boxing enthusiasts from experiencing the highly anticipated fight. Furthermore, reselling these tickets at increased prices not only overcharged fans, but also exploited their eagerness to attend the spectacle. This conduct not only breaches ethical norms, but also contradicts the principles that boxing is meant to embody. Floyd Mayweather has openly condemned Devin Haney's alleged ticket scalping practices, denouncing them as shameful to the sport and disrespectful to the fans. Mayweather, who has previously shown support for Haney, expressed strong criticism regarding Haney's choice to purchase a substantial number of tickets for his recent bout against Regis Progre and then resell them at elevated prices. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.